Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Dr. Paul West Sells, the President and CEO of Western Copper and Gold. Paul, thanks for joining us today. It's great to be here, Arnie. I hope I can see you uh, face to face real soon, but uh, let's get in and start talking about Western Copper and Gold. Um, what are the three things or the, the high level overview and pitch for Western Copper and Gold? Sure. Um, you know, Western Copper and Gold is, is developing one asset, which is the Casino Copper Gold project up in the Yukon. And there's a couple real key takeaways with that project. First of all, this is a very large, globally significant copper gold project up in the Yukon, containing 21 million ounces of gold, 11 billion pounds of copper. So it's large and importantly, it's copper and gold. Um, and actually, if you look at the project right now and the projected revenue, most of the revenue comes from gold. Secondly, this is a project where we've got a full feasibility study completed on the project showing absolutely stellar economics. Um, at today's metal prices, we have an IRR over 30%. Uh, net present value approaching $4 billion. I mean, just absolutely tremendous returns. And, you know, the third key thing is we're up in the Yukon. We love being in the Yukon. Yukon is a very mining friendly jurisdiction. Um, they are set to open up two mines in, in two years. Uh, and, and then there's historical mining there as well. So a great jurisdiction to be mining in. Yeah, Yukon is a great jurisdiction. I see them doing tons of really hard work to, to help companies be successful there. That's a great thing. Um, what are some near-term catalysts that, that investors should be looking for um, with respect to your company? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, right now we're drilling. And so we've got some really interesting near-term catalysts associated with that. And, you know, our drilling program this year is a follow-up to our drilling program of last year. And last year, we um, we actually, it was an infill drilling program that resulted in a new resource, which we just released, doubled the size up to 2 billion tons uh, measured and indicated. Um, um, but importantly, we actually hit a couple of new zones and one was a high grade gold zone in the south of the deposit. We're really excited about that. We hit 55 grams per ton over three meters last year. That was the third 50 gram per ton plus intercept that we'd hit in this region. We're back there this year doing a bunch of drilling and really trying to delineate that high grade gold. The other thing that we're doing uh, with that drilling program is taking a look at some of these sort of additional, uh, almost sort of uh, district scale uh, targets in the area. And, you know, we have our big casino deposit, but we also also have a another porphyry to the north of us and then some targets to the west of us on our on newly acquired project there. So a bunch of, you know, drilling programs are always uh, near term uh, catalysts. Um, but on then on the back of that, we'll look to update our feasibility study and, and then get back into permitting and, and push the project forward. That's a great summary. Uh, switching gears a little bit, can you tell me what being listed on the TSX means to Western Copper and Gold uh, and uh, your shareholders? Sure. I mean, you know, Western or, or listing on the TSX uh, really has two real benefits that I see. You know, first of all, of course, is access to capital. I mean, I think that uh, with a, being a mining company and at the development phase, People look for that TSX listing. It's, you know, I think by far most of the mining companies are listed on that. And so uh, when we have investors, they want to see that listing. And the second thing I think that is important is that, you know, we can point to that listing and say, look, the level of scrutiny uh, in terms of, you know, 43101 compliance, in terms of making sure that news releases are, are, are kept honest. Um, is very, very high. And that's important for investors is to know that when you hear uh, news from a TSX listed company, you can be assured that the news is absolutely technically correct and not misleading in any way. And that that's a real asset. Well, that's good for the whole market. Paul, yes. thanks for joining me today. And uh, I look forward to uh, your news flow from your drilling programs. Perfect. Thank you very much.